there are a few basic tips that will help you navigate through your brain on a day-to-day -day basis. You can easily adjust the size or location of the thoughts within your brain, as well as the tool tab windows. First, in order to resize the thoughts, you'll need to make sure that at least one of two options are checked in your Preferences menu. If I go into my Preferences, I can click on the UI tab, and at the very top, I have the option to turn on Mouse Wheel Resizing and Resizing Circle is Draggable. I'll keep both of these checked. And also, for something that I'll demo later, I'm going to check Double Click Maximizes Plex. Now, with these features made available, whenever I go to a particular area of my brain where I can't fit all the thoughts on the screen at the same time, such as these database thoughts, where I have to use the scroll bar to see them all, I can simply resize my fonts. First, I'll use the resizing circle, a thin circle that encompasses the active thought. I can click and drag out to make my thoughts larger, or drag in to make them all a bit smaller and eventually make them all fit on the screen at one time. And if you have a mouse wheel, I can hover over the active thought for the same results. Scroll down to make my thoughts smaller, scroll up to make them larger until I'm happy with the layout. Also, you can move your thoughts up and down within the Brain application. If I just click on the background and drag down and up, notice that my thoughts move as a group to help me subtly adjust for the best possible layout wherever I happen to be navigating. And from time to time, if I'm particularly focused on just the thought layout and navigation, I can maximize the plex. Remember the checkbox that I clicked on earlier? I can now double click on the background to go full size application with just the Plex and double click to bring my tool tabs back. Additionally, there's a small icon in the upper right hand corner that has the same functionality. Click to maximize the Plex, click again to bring the tool tabs back. And let's talk about moving the tool tabs as well. I'm currently in the default layout, notes on the left and my remaining tool tabs on the right. If I move my cursor on the line between my tool tabs and the Plex, I can drag up and down to give these a bit more real estate. Or if I need to compose a new note for my database thoughts, I can double click on notes. And now the full application is my note screen and I'm ready to start writing. And when I'm done, I'll simply double click again to bring everything back to normal. Additionally, I can move my tool tabs to different areas of the application. I'm relying quite extensively on running some reports, so I'd like to have my thought tool tab, my notes, and reports all visible. I'll click and drag reports to the upper left hand corner of the screen. Notice that it highlights the area that it will now occupy. And again, I can resize on the edges if needed. I can also merge tool tabs by clicking and dragging and hovering over an existing tool tab name or split the difference. Notice wherever I move my mouse, I'll see a highlight of the area that that tool tab will occupy. And of course, at any time, I can drag them all back together or click on options and select to reset the tools layout. And we're back to where we started. And finally, you'll notice that my brain application is currently floating like any other application on a PC. We call this float mode. But here again, I have several options. In the brain, I can click on window and select to move from float to auto hide right. Now my brain is docked on the right hand corner of my screen. And when I click away, you'll notice that it's automatically been hidden on the right hand side of the screen. Just click on the button to reactivate and open the brain at any time. And I can move the brain either from screen to screen or in different locations of my main screen. I hope that you'll utilize many of these features in your day-to-day -day usage of your digital brain.